Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. Let's start with our forecast. Here's John Smith. John. Well, we're looking for another round of showers and storms, especially in western parts of the state. We will get some spot storms in central portions, and we're looking for a backdoor cold front to slide through the northeast as we go through the afternoon and evening, and that will enhance storm chances there. But it's the second backdoor cold front that comes through the northeast into late Wednesday and Thursday, and this one will push further into the state, and that will bring more shower chances for more of the state. Behind the front, we're looking for some gusty east canyon winds in excess of 40 miles per hour for the metro as we go through the nighttime hours during Wednesday night and we're also looking for much cooler air behind this front as well. Some areas of the Northeast won't make it out of the 50s for Thursday. The State Department of Health believes they know where Listeria tainted cantaloupe came from. It has left three people in New Mexico dead and a half a dozen more hospitalized. The state said the fruit likely came from the Rocky Ford area of southeastern Colorado with the name Rocky Ford cantaloupes on the stickers. Food and Drug Administration says this is only a potential source of the problem and more tests are being done to determine if it's indeed the source. In New Mexico, there's no official recall on the fruit at this point. A 19-year-old Idaho man who had sex with a 12-year-old New Mexico girl pleaded guilty yesterday to interstate travel with the intent to engage in illicit sexual conduct. Alexander Lynn Trowell met the victim last year when she was 11 while playing the online game World of Warcraft. Trowell flew the girl to Idaho, but her mother alerted police who caught the pair at his house before they actually had sex. When he sentenced in December, he could face up to 30 years behind bars. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day.